What up, blockheads? Today I am answering all of your cues with my A's. Holy f so many questions. Ride with Patrick says, could you please do a new review now that you drove some miles on your iron with the things you like or dislike? Yes, I will definitely do a new review. Altex says, howdy, my question, how is the 883 on the freeway highway? Is it stable and at what speeds does it cruise best? Lots of love from Denmark. Um, it's actually not terrible on the highway or freeway. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it just because, I mean, long distance, like I said, just because it's uh, more meant for like an around town bike, I think. Uh, it does tend to blow you around a little bit since there's no like windscreen or fairings or anything on it, but uh, yeah, it's doable. I actually just recorded a video on that, which I should have uploaded before I upload this Q&A video. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's doesn't perform bad. I'm a fan. Dude, the battery on this GoPro is awesome. I will say that for the Hero 5. They got that shit right. Battery is, battery life is incredible. James Sapula says, that chin piece between the front tire and the bottom of the frame attached to the frame. What is that piece called? Great job, though. Bike looks great. So that dirty piece down there, that is a chin spoiler or a chin fairing. Um, you can find them on Amazon. I did record a video on how to install it, uh, but I never put it up, which I guess I need to. But uh, I'll drop you guys a link to that in the description below. Christmas says, do you ever take it on the freeway doing 70 plus? How does it handle without a windshield? Uh, once again, reference that last video. I did take it on the freeway and I went upwards of like, don't tell anybody this guys, but I went upwards of like 100. I went like 100 miles an hour almost. I think I was at like 95 and I was in the tuck for show and it was handling just fine. <laughs> Brandon PR says, do you have any bikes that you're keeping your eye on for trade-in or do you plan on keeping the iron for a while? Brandon from Cleveland, Ohio. I don't plan on trading this bike in actually. Um, I plan on actually having this bike paid off in like probably less than a year. Like, and I just took out a loan for it. Uh, I like to kind of manage my finances pretty well. And, uh, you know, I have made uh, lots of extra payments towards it just because, I mean, it's good debt. It's definitely manageable debt, but uh, I do want to do some other things. So I'd like to do away with this debt but I don't, I don't have any plans to get rid of it. And anybody that I've ever heard that says that they traded in and got rid of their iron says they end up later regretting it. So uh, I like it. Even if I go with a bigger bike, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Crazy Kid says, if you continue with the bobber build, are you going to go with the V-Rod type rear tire? I'm actually not continuing with the bobber build just because of where I live here in Florida. Dude, what is with the wind today? Look at this, shit's crazy. It's wild man no so i'm not going with the bobber build uh because it would require me to chop the rear fender um you know like take off the front fender and uh the rear fender i mean in florida it rains like every single day in the summer so uh i'm definitely keeping that because i don't want my back to be soaking wet plus you know i kind of like the way it looks also like i said i am planning on adding some uh some fork fairings to it which are gonna kind of balance out the bike a little bit. That way it'll have like a really nice, like kind of flow to it. But you guys will see that when I get there, if I can get there. I've already made some inquiries on where I can find these specific ones that I want, but uh, we'll see how that pans out. Frankie H says, do you think short shots are louder than yours? I never heard them in person yet. Uh, short shots versus the big radius. I have heard both. Um, I would say they're about the same in terms of loudness. Uh, the big radius though are deeper. The best way to describe it is these have more of like a blub 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 sound versus the short shots have more of like a tingy, like a little higher pitched. So these are like blub blub blub, those are like blip 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 blip, you know? So that little bit of a higher pitch, it's uh, I don't know, a little more tinny, like tingy sounding. Jesus wind. Finguining says, not sure if you mentioned this in one of your other videos, but what gloves do you use? Also keep it up, man. Love your channel. Thanks for the love, man. Appreciate it. My gloves are a brand called OMG AI and uh, they're off of Amazon, honestly. Uh, I think they were like, I can't even remember how much they were, but not, not too crazy expensive. Not expensive at all. And uh, yeah, I'll drop that link down in the description. I like them a lot. They do have some character and some wear to them, but uh, yeah. They're holding up great so far for me. I like them. Meryl Fabian says, does the FP3 really helps with the gas mileage? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if it helps positively, but <laughs> it definitely changes the gas mileage. It adjusts like the air fuel ratio for whatever components you're running. So yeah, it is going to directly impact the gas mileage. 
Nat Poff says, you should get Miss Blackhead in a few videos, do a dual vlog with each other, that would be fun. Uh, that would be fun. But unfortunately, Miss Blackhead doesn't like riding two up on the iron, and she also doesn't know how to ride. Um, we both took a class together, and she couldn't really get the whole relationship between the, th the clutch and the throttle down and uh, she didn't do so well so uh, out of keeping her safe and uninjured and alive she currently does not ride a motorcycle but she wants to so we're, we're definitely going to continue to get her classes and get her some instruction easy eddie says when you pay off this bike are you going to be getting a big twin harley like a soft tail or a dyna uh honestly i don't know when i pay off this bike um currently i'm looking at trucks so you know another bike probably not in the pipeline just yet uh but the next bike I get, I want it to be a project bike, to be honest. I don't want it to be like something that's already done from the factory. I'd like to get something that's maybe like barely running and, uh, you know, throw it in a garage, get a garage for that matter, and uh, just kind of fix it up and get it running. Do like a, a build series like all these other YouTubers do, just because, I mean, I think that would be fun. Plus, I love working on the bike, you know, I love working with my hands, you know, mechanically. So, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a lot of fun, I think. Holy shit, guys, y'all posted so much. Bert Spradlin says, are you ever going to do a video that shows what you look like? Just wondering. Uh, yeah, yes, but in due time. Dippity doing it says, does Costco sell non-oxy gas? If not, then you should find a place that does. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, Costco only sells two grades of gas. I think one is like 87 and the other is like 93. So they're basically like unleaded regular and premium. They only have the two. GT Steel says, how is the overall vibration level through the bars, pegs, etc. on once you're underway? Uh, not bad, to be honest. Like if you're in the correct gear and you're not like bogging the engine or transmission, uh, yeah, there's, it's, it's not really that bad at all. Jason Haza says, can you still fit the same amount of gas in your tank with it lifted? Yes. A lot of people ask this, like basically saying like, oh, because I put in or did a tank lift, I'm getting like less gas mileage. Like a tank doesn't have anything to do with your gas mileage. If you were to, if you were to tune the engine or like do something to the engine, then your gas mileage would change and be affected. But like doing the tank lift, like, like this doesn't have anything to do. This just holds the gas. You know, it might seem like your, your, your fuel light comes on sooner, but you, you're holding the same amount of gas in here. And this is what's like processing you know burning your gas and so like the tune from the chip and the engine components are what are going to like dictate your gas mileage not the not the end not the tank the gas tank just holds the gas all right bozo the clown and rlm 151 both said something along the lines of uh doing a meet uh like i drive and stuff i drive sucks <laughs> it's kind of scary to ride over there but hey maybe Rogue Moda says, ever considered chopping the rear fender? I dig the look, but don't want to lose pillion option and value. Still a toss up. Yep, I did consider it. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. As I said, I do. I did want to go for that bobber option or that bobber look, but uh, I'm not going to do that because of living in Florida and uh, rain. I don't want rain flipping up and soaking my back. ALHD48 says, do you get shit for riding a sporty? You go in to keep the bike and run it into the ground? If not, why? Yes. I do plan on keeping the bike and running it into the ground. Do I get shit for riding a sporty? Every now and then. Every now and then some troll f will come onto the channel and be like, oh, it's a girl's bike. And to that, I mean, you guys know my opinion on that. I've said it in previous videos. Uh, people that think that can go f themselves. I, don't, I really don't care what your opinion is. I bought the bike for me. I like it. I'm happy with it. That's all that matters. Like, you shouldn't let other people's opinions dictate what you do. Like, do what you want. I have gotten shit for it. The thing is... <laughs> Nobody has ever given me shit for riding this bike in person, which I just think is kind of funny. So you got your, your keyboard commandos that are all, you know, talking big shit behind their computer screens. But uh, like, no, I've never gotten shit for riding this bike. And I've had people that are, you know, riding bigger bikes than this, you know, Harleys, sport bikes, whatever. And they all say the same thing is that they love the way the bike looks. So, you know, let haters be haters. Let that shit roll off your shoulders and just uh, do what you love and do what you want, man. To hell with what other people think. I made you read this as woke up just the right time, was just watching this making breakfast, and this comment is kind of random, but I don't know any questions to ask. Well, thank you for your contribution. I made you read this, and thanks for making me read that. <laughs> That's actually the only reason I read that, even though it's not a question, so good game sir sammy b883 says what advice would you give to new motor vloggers and any plans to do a 1200 conversion on your bike one day or maybe even a 48 uh yes plans to do a 1200 conversion in the future for sure just because i heard the 883 converted to a 1200 1250 runs really well so um advice for new motor vloggers uh do your research um don't post up clickbaity bullshit have integrity um don't be an annoying motor vlogger i don't know 
uh, I guess the best piece of advice is to just find a moto vlog that you really like and that is like real quality and just kind of model yourself after that. You know, I, I did take some kind of cues and ideas from some other guys, uh, but like I've made it my own. Um, so yeah, I mean, just try to try to make all of your stuff quality from sound to audio to image, bike, you know, don't be a shitty person, I guess. I don't know. Pedro Camargo says, for the Q&A, what if the biker needs to use the GPS? Which one do you think is better, a cell phone support on the bike or a smartwatch? Definitely a cell phone support or a dedicated like GPS or whatever. A, uh, a smartwatch is not smart while trying to use a GPS on the bike because if you think about it, whenever you're trying to, like whenever you're using GPS, when are you looking at the directions? Is whenever you're coming up on a turn or something, right? And so if you're riding, and you're coming up on a turn and you take your hands off the handlebar and you go to look like this for one like i've got a smartwatch but it's under a jacket and it's also under my gloves so that's not easily accessible at all and if i wear it higher then it's all super uncomfortable and the wind gets in there and if it's cold out and all that stuff it's just it's not a good option i would highly recommend mounting it to the handlebars definitely like like i said i've tried the smartwatch and I wouldn't recommend it at all. Especially like while going at speeds, you don't want to take your hands off the handlebars. I think I did that for like the first episode ever. Never again. So many questions. Justin Becerra says, hey Blockhead, what taillights do you have in mind? Love the project. Um, I actually bought a pair of Arlen Ness taillights. Uh, I just have to get around to installing them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Here's a screenshot of them. Those ones. Yep. They look nice. They're nice and small. They don't stick out of the rear. Kind of add like that nice, like a nice line to the bike. Make it more minimal, tucked in. Danny Hernandez says, what do you do for a living? Uh, professionally, uh, I'm a badass. <laughs> badass. No. Um, professionally, I'm a web developer and a graphic designer. Um, yeah, I, I work for, for a large company. And basically, we do web development and advertising uh, graphic design for companies like Walmart, Sam's Club, eBay, uh, Amazon, uh, and I've worked with clients like like Pirelli all the way to like Lint Chocolate. So I mean everything in between. Lampy Camp S. Lampy Cap says any regrets toward the drag bars so far? No, none at all. I love the drag bars, especially once I raised them up a little bit. You know, like angled them a little more back. Uh, they're great. They actually make me sit with my back a little more straight. So yeah, I love the drag bars. They're great. Garrett Larson says, my only question I can think of is damn battery cover. Those plastic latches, do you have any issues with it? On my last video, I show my issue with it for reference. No, I have not had any issues with the battery cover. Uh, luckily, I have heard of some people having issues where they kind of fall off, but uh, no, mine's been solid. I don't know. I just, I don't take it on and off too much. So, and when I do, I'm very careful about it. Oh my God, I think that's all the questions. Holy hell. Jesus Christ, guys, you guys are super curious about stuff you asked me. <laughs> so many questions. But you know what? I'm happy to answer them. Because without you guys, there would be no channel. I mean, what would be the point in making this shit if there was nobody, like, tuning in and stuff, so... What's all that? F***ing gawker. It's Harley. So anyways, I hope that has answered a ton of y'all's questions. Until further notice, that Q&A is shut down. But we'll do another one in the future. I need gas. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope I answered most of y'all's questions. If I skipped over any of them, I do apologize. I did try to get to all of them. And as you guys can tell, there was a lot. So um, yeah, if I ended up skipping over one, my apologies. I was just scrolling through them like on my YouTube app. And sometimes it doesn't show all the comments, but uh, I don't know. If I didn't, hold on to that question for the next episode. And uh, not for the next episode, but for the next Q&A. And we'll try to knock it out then. Bruh, he's up off that guy, damn. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button down there. Hit the like. Go on. Go on. Do it, guys. You know you want to hit the like button. Oh, shit. Oh, thanks for that like, guys. Appreciate you. You know what's funny? I don't know why I just thought of this because I was smiling whenever I'm saying that because I'm like generally like a happy person. Whenever you pick up the phone, if you pick up the phone and you're smiling, you can actually hear that in your voice. So... The next time you pick up the phone, like whenever the phone rings, whoever it is calling, 
smile before you pick up the phone and then pick up the phone while smiling and you'll totally be able to hear that in your voice I guarantee it I guarantee it it's just something funny that me and my friends used to do you know whenever I worked at a in a retail office environment but uh anyways yeah thanks for liking the video guys thanks for all the support thanks for all the questions man just super awesome that you guys uh have so many questions and that you're you know so interested uh if you guys aren't subscribed already be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well until next time you guys ride safe stay vigilant and i will catch y'all later Let's see if i can do deuces in the corner <gasps> deuces this guy in front of me is probably wondering, like, what the f*** did this guy just do? Sped around the corner, he threw up some peace signs at me, and, uh, yeah. Oh, he's a bearded brother, though. I need gas. I don't want to run out of gas. That would suck. Slow it down, turn it down. Psych.